All right, guys, so here we have the 2023 Harley Davidson Rogue Glide CVO. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to be taking them out for a ride right now. Um, so, this is going to be my first initial impressions on the bike. Not an in depth review or anything like that. Uh, but the plan is to get on this bike and then uh, we're going to ride towards Lake Michigan, I believe. Do a photo stop, uh, some video footage as well. And then we're going to swap over and I'll be hopping on the street glide as well. So in this video, you get to see a first impression uh, of what it feels like to be on the brand new street glide and the brand new road glide right here. This is my silver one. We've got the Scorch Chrome right here. Her two wheels is on... what? whiskey neat that's what it's called whiskey neat now i don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up but they changed the way the bags uh are now so they're not so squared offish so even from the top you right here you can see it kind of bulges out a bit let's see if i get an angle from here so it pops out like a little belly um as far as having more space it's like a tad bit i asked them if if it made a huge difference um, it's by a ninth or tenth of a cubic foot or something. I'm not sure exactly, but it's not much. But it does look good. I, I do like that, that roundness to it. And as you can see here, the same lines that kind of go through the fairing in the front. Right? I'm going to cut down on the tank as well. So you got that line right there, another line right there flows down you got this line right here and the lines going towards the back as well so you can see it even on the speaker right there very very well put together well detailed the way all the lines flow on the bike looks really good this 12 inch dash is wow it's it's humongous turn on right here the controls are all different we'll go over the controls as we're riding so you got your cut off your power button right here Press that down. There we go. So it is a touch screen, so you can access everything with your fingers, or you can just move everything around uh, with this control right here. So controls, like I said, are really, really different. Uh, power buttons right here, dual turn signals right there. On this side, I know we're used to having the volume and the audio stuff on the left side, but now, it's on the right side, so you can play, pause your music, next, volume up, volume down, uh, left turn signals, your mode button right there as well. Um, adjustable levers here, left turn signal, horn, menu button, you're going to have your cruise control on top, so you, you press that button, then you set it, set your cruise control, um, trash control button, and then get this button right here, this little flicker, toggle for your high beam low beam and then your heater grips now you're gonna have this button at the end you press that in you're gonna see your heater grip button right there but you access it through that button right there you don't have to turn it anymore three settings on that low medium high so it's my first time ever on this bike it feels great uh if you're not familiar too much with my work or what i do i have a 2021 road glide special at home just to give you a a brief idea of what I ride and how I'm gonna be comparing this bike and my thoughts basically coming off my 21 Rogue Glide Special with a stage 2 I definitely want to see the difference on this bike now this bike now has the brand new Milwaukee 8 121 uh, with the VVT in it 135 foot-pounds of torque 115 horsepower and right now we have it on road mode so this bike does have different modes now Finally, we got some modes on the baggers. So you're gonna have road mode, you're gonna have rain mode, and you're gonna have sport mode. So we're gonna go out and test them all out. Road mode right now from even getting on the bike, you're starting it, feels good, very comfortable, not too tamed. Give it a little throttle and the bike just feels like <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you definitely feel that power right away. Now the 121 is the biggest engine that Harley Davidson has ever offered from factory on a bike. We have some stock pipes on here, so no, you're not you're not gonna get that that Harley Davidson sound that we all want to hear. But for it to be a stock pipe, 
sounds pretty good. I'm pretty sure once we get on the highway, we get uh get up in those speeds, we can definitely hear it a lot more. Got this big air cleaner right here. Looks really nice with that 121 badge, Harley Davidson badge on the tank as well. Um, let's talk about feel real quick. Like the feel of everything feels really good. It feels really, really premium. It's so one thing about Harley Davidson is that they just want to give you premium touches on everything. So everything has a click. Everything has a nice touch to it. A nice feel. It, it just feels good. It feels premium. Now we press this menu button right here. You're going to have settings. Press that setting. On there you're able to change the display, sound, systems, everything. You can even change the display here. So right now basically this is like a road mode. Um, just a display, not it doesn't change the way you're riding, but the mode of it. So you have two gauges. Uh, you could do. I'm gonna show you right now. So display, um, layout. This, this is the cruise mode. I mean, so we change it to sport mode. You're gonna have that one gauge. Put information on the right side and the left side. Tour mode. You're gonna have the gauge on the left side and the all information on the right side. So I just you know pick whatever you want. I like uh, I like the cruise. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. My first time ever out here. Really nice. A lot of history in the city. As far as in the cockpit right now, let, let's get back to the feeling of the bike. Um, it feels it feels good. Like just the, the whole redesigned fairing, it, it it makes you feel like you're kind of inside the bike, not so much like on top of it. If that makes any sense. Um, this, it, this just gives you like a nice feeling of just being inside. As you can see here, we're talking about those designs before, those lines. Uh, you're going to see a lot of lines, a lot of curves everywhere. Everything is just, it, it feels like I'm, I'm in a big pocket right now. And I feel cozy. I feel comfortable being inside of it. Um, these now are touch. You don't got to lift them up. Very deep in there. You got a lot, a lot more space. Once again, touch opens up. It did change a lot of things on these bikes. Now, very important as well. What you should know about these bars. These bars are adjustable. So, loosen this clamp up. And I'm able to either push these bars forward. Or I can just adjust them and bring the bars back. So, you're going to have a lot of play right there. So, that's a plus right there. In case if you don't, you know, want to change out the bars and keep the stock ones, you're going to have an option to move it around to your best comfort. Now handling, hmm, can't really talk about handling yet. We haven't really done too much riding, but we will. That is the festival stage over there. Uh, we're going to come tomorrow and watch Green Day. They got Green Day Friday and then the Foo Fighters performing on Saturday. So we're going to be enjoying that. You know, the bike feels, it feels a lot more flickable than my Roglad at home. A lot more flickable. Really smooth to uh, engage into neutral as well. These floorboards are nice. Nice grip to them. And these air deflectors here, you're able to close them in or out. You're able to close this, hold it open. So I don't know if you guys can see the bikes that are ahead of me right now, but you see how the bags stick out a lot more. They have a bit of a belly now instead of being so squared off. So I don't, I'm not sure if, uh, if you guys like that or not, but they look good. The lights in the back look sick. Now this is the CBO guys, so it, th there might be some stuff on this bike that, you know, 
later on will not make it to the regular models talking about that because i know uh some people have been asking is you know is it just the cvos for now yes it's just the cvos for now um everything will trickle down to the regular bikes later on hopefully we'll get to see that um I don't know. I'm assuming maybe January for the for 2024. But like I was saying, some things will trickle down from the CVO bikes down to the special models or standard. Or I don't. I don't. I don't know what they're gonna decide to do. But usually the uh, the rear CVO lights are just the CVO bikes, so that probably won't make it on there. Well, who knows? I could be wrong. They might do things way different now. I'm looking back at the at the mirror and I'm just looking at the how nice these lights look, man. They look so nice. These lights look beautiful when they're lit up. All right, so we'll be able to get some highway speeds now. Open her up. Yeah, she definitely gets up there effortlessly. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, switch the modes up now. Hit the mode button. Now we're on smoke mode. Yeah, you definitely feel that difference right away. <laughs> Let me tell you, the suspension has been improved drastically. The braking power in the front has been improved drastically. And the power, it's there. So basically, pretty much everything or anything that you can complain about on the uh, later models has been improved on this bike here. Suspension is one thing that people are, you know, are not too happy with on the later models. I really want to go, man. <laughs> I just want to, like, open her up. Now, talking about suspension, it's very, very, very easy to adjust your uh, your preload on the back with that knob on the left side. So, depending on your uh, on your weight, you can adjust that. Or if you got a passenger on, it's just very, very easy to access. The bike really feels planted as well really really planted you're gonna have an inverted front end on this bike so handling is another thing that has been drastically improved i was mentioning before we were at you know just very low speeds but even going through those turns before you could definitely feel that the bike really wants to lean in she really wants to dive in um so it, it's it's more of a of an aggressive feel now. The bike just feels like it wants to be ridden aggressively. But so far, I'm happy with the way the bike feels. I think Harley knocked it out the park, man. The design-wise as well, it's it's such beautifully executed. It's the way the lines. I I keep talking about the lines on the bike and just the way the the that big headlight just flows in trust me trust me you need to see this bike in person guys because if you're not completely sold on the looks yet from the photos that you've seen online you're gonna like it in person me i was a fan from day one i mean the the first pictures that leaked those were really bad angles and i was like eh, i don't know i don't know but then with when the other pictures come out and the video come out I was like, yes, yes, it, it's it's beautiful, it's beautiful. So I've, I've I've been a big fan of this bike, of the new redesigned look. And let me tell you, it looks better in person. Trust me when I tell you, and trust me when I tell you, she looks better in person. Just like your uh, your date. <laughs> no catfish in here. Engine braking feels good as well. Stopping power feels really good. Now you are gonna have your three modes. 
but then you're also able to customize your own mode so like mode a mode b you can go ahead and customize it however you want now there's one little thing i'm not too crazy about this bike and that's the seat it's just i don't know i feel like the the seat feels too firm for me it feels like really flat <laughs> yes yes a lot of power man a lot of power the sport mode on here it, it it doesn't feel like like exaggerated it doesn't feel like the bike just wants to launch you off it's just a, a good amount of power on the street glide now I, I gotta show you guys this man i really gotta show you this is pretty cool look at this little tray right here this compartment you press this button that pops out boom and you got a usb uh port in there well it's not usb it's what, whatever you call those big yeah, you just you get throw your keys in your phone or a few phones plug it in there all right this feels so different though <laughs> i'm so used to being on a road glide man this is so different <laughs> Every time I get on a street glider, it's like, wow. It's just a total different feel. You know what it is? Is that, you know, you turn the bars, and then that fairing turns with you. And it's just, I'm not used to that. I'm surprised they didn't put a button for this vent right here instead of you turning it. Hmm. Now, bar setup on here as well feels really comfortable. Same controls as the road glide. Everything is basically uh, the same. This feels so miniature. <laughs> Just compared to the road glide, it's, it feels so miniature. Like it feels like a little little bike in the front. This bike feels like you're you're, you're more on it. The road glide feels like you're in it because of that huge cockpit right in front of you, the way it's laid out. But this bike, it just it just seems small from the front. All right, let's rip it. <laughs> now let's talk about power because uh whether you're being on the street glide or on the road glide as far as the uh the throttle response it's um and he, especially now that it's on sport mode so sometimes you know you you put a bike on sport mode and as soon as you hit that throttle it instantly just wants to jerk your back power is just thrown but this has like a slight uh level so you'll pull the throttle and it'll be like one two and then it just really take off on there it'll that that's when the power really kicks in so all that power just doesn't kick in right away uh you give it a little power it goes up a few notches and it just takes off I love me a street glide, I really do. But I, I'm not taking a street glide over a road glide ever. Nah, I can't say never, who knows. But not, not, not right now. How do you guys like this view right here on the screen as opposed to the view that I had on the road glide before? Now, you, like I said, you could change that. You, you could change any layout you want on the screen. But it's cool that they give you options super super easy to read the screen everything is so bright super clear right in your face as well it's also really responsive even as soon as you turn the bike on the whole screen just lights up pretty quick there, there's no really lag time uh, for everything just to power up and it feels so 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 stable like really really stable Whatever they did with the with the suspension and the front suspension, 
both bikes just feel really well planted down to the ground both bikes feel like you could just throw them around anywhere it's just a Harley did a really really good job and I gotta say my only complaint about the bike has to be the seat that's it the seat is really firm and besides that the power delivery is awesome I love the tech uh, the touch and feel of everything feels premium um, I love the new look on both bikes I love the changes and most of all I'm really happy that they addressed everything that needed to get updated on both bikes that's the most important thing right there is that no here's just not a brand new bike but here's a brand new bike upgraded now is the bike a hundred percent different no it's it's still still your bagger just with a redesigned body bigger engine more tech it's to, to, to me it was perfect that's perfect to me man i mean it, it still has the classic look to it with a modern feel that's the best way to put it and that goes for both the street glide and the road glide it's really special when a company could just take their product and instill their dna in whatever it is they're doing so no matter the changes of what's done on that one product or whatever it is you can still see the dna a mile away and that's what they have done with these two bikes here yes both redesigned but you can tell a mile away that's a street glide coming down the road or that's a road glide coming down the road and that's very important look at porsche look, look, look what porsche has been able to do um you know you, you look at a porsche and it just it, it looks like a porsche a mile away same thing with lamborghini so harley has done a great job keeping the dna its origin in the bike just with a modern feel modern twist and that's all as a customer is what you can ask for that's just my opinion you could have a different opinion but let me know what you guys think down below on both these bikes what do you like about them what do you not like about it do you like the designs do you not how does the cockpit area feel or look to you might, might I say um, do you like the 12.3 inch screen are you happy with the 121 or do you think they should have gone bigger are you happy with the inverted front end the redesigned bags redesigned fairings LED lighting finally all around even for your turn signals and I'm super happy with the changes I love the way they both look I'm gonna keep enjoying this street glide ride really love this right here <laughs> this is awesome close that up there we go i'm good all right good Brian. give it to us man all right so i'd like to start the day with a good bible verse this is first timothy 2 5 for there is one god and one mediator between god and mankind that man is christ jesus got him, got him. Man, bless us today. <laughs> improvements from your bike to this bike. Are you happy with improvements or? It's just different. Yeah, the technology is a lot better. Um, I wish I had more time to play with like the Apple CarPlay and stuff and yeah. actually travel with it to see how it does. The performance, the suspension, every, my, I mean like my bike is obviously not stock, but compared to a stock road glide, yeah, it's a night and day difference. Yeah. But it is a performance bike, so I still find myself like just wanting to relax. I love the bars. The like, bars are comfortable, right? Back. Yeah, the yeah. bars are excellent. And they're adjustable too. Yes. Yeah, so, awesome. It's been, uh, it's been, I love the color. Um, I really actually love the lighting. That's one of the things I was yeah, saying in my videos. The lighting is awesome. Is, like visibility is really important to me and I love that the turn signals are amber now like they're very mm -hmm. visible um, so I've really just been enjoying it am I gonna get rid of my bike was it no <laughs> I love my bike <laughs>
Good. I was going to ask you that next. Okay. Yeah. No. Good. Yeah, Good stuff. Strange. Thank you. Yeah. Like that. Brand new fairing on the street glide right here. Uh, just the way they integrated the turn signals in the fairing. Um, all LED as well. I like the way the lines fall down here. I like the way it just kind of like it goes up. Um, the, the squared off headlamp in the front looks really good as well. Um, the shield on top looks really good. Just the, the whole front looks really, really, really nice. Got a side-by-side -side comparison right here. Same color bike. You guys pick if you guys yeah, like number? that whiskey uh, orange. Short trip to the photo stop. 15, 20 minutes. You 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 taking the win this year again or what, bro? What's the plan? You 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 gotta you gotta you gotta you know you gotta bring it in. Yep. Bring yeah. it home. Three more rounds. Gotta finish it up. I like the tank badge as well, Harley Davidson CBO right there on the badge as well. The, tell me what you guys think about the the air cleaner right here. Do you guys like it? Do you not like it? Do you feel like it's a little bit bulky or not? I personally, I, I like the way it looks. I think it, it looks like a, a, a performance air cleaner. Like it just, it has that look to it. Um, the bike has a nice rumble to it as well. As soon as you turn it on. Um, that was like one of the things that I was kind of um, hoping that the bike was still gonna have, being that you know it has a VVT in and out, um, still Milwaukee eight, but it, it, it still has that nice Harley Davidson grunt to it. Um, it's not gonna sound like a Pan America or or a Sportster as per se. Um, so it still has that that V twin sound. Uh, sounds great. Definitely has a lot of power. And um, all the upgrades that Harley Davidson has just done is just. It, they, they answered all the questions basically with everything that they uh that they changed on these bikes overall first impressions i absolutely love it i love it and i know right now you're gonna ask me well would you change or would you trade your bike up for this new bike i don't have cvo money so no not for cvo but i cannot wait to see harley trickle down all these new designs to the regular models I don't know what they're going to do or when they're going to come out. I'm assuming for the 2024 year. I could be wrong. Who knows? But it, when, when that model comes out, then, then we can talk. It's, uh, I would say yes. I would, yeah, I'd, I'd, probably, I'd probably trade up. It's, it's, it's that good. I'm, I'm very impressed. Um, very happy with the improvements that they made. They obviously listen to the customers. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great bike, man.